Good morning. Last weekend, our nation celebrated Memorial Day. It is a weekend that we have an occasion to remember and honor those who sacrificed their lives for our nation. It is a federal holiday that now is being celebrated on the last Monday of every May. The beginning of Memorial Day can be traced back to the time right after the Civil War where both the North and South celebrated and observed the, the terrible conflict which over 600,000 soldiers died. This holiday was observed so we would not forget the sacrifices that were done by so many for our freedom and has continued on through all the other military occasions that our country has been in conflict with since then. Over time, the Memorial Day weekend started to begin to be also known for as the beginning of summer and now we see many obser uh, observances of cookouts, family gatherings, and so on. Hopefully our nation will never lose sight of the sacrifices that have, were, have been done by so many to protect our freedoms and never forget what the true meaning of Memorial Day is about. Every Sunday we have an occasion to remember and honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who made the ultimate sacrifice for not only our sins but the sins for all mankind. We participate in this remembrance on a weekly basis to proclaim our Lord's death, burial, and resurrection and until He comes again. This is a privilege and honor that we cannot take lightly. In 1 Corinthians 11 23 through 26, Paul tells us what happened when the Lord established this memorial feast and how it should be observed. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's have a prayer now for the bread. Our Father, we're thankful for this bread and what it uh, means to us that it uh, signifies the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, how his body hung on the cross and he suffered such great uh, pain and physical death for us. We're so thankful that he rose again and has gone to heaven to prepare a place for us. May we take of this bread in a way that is pleasing in thy sight. Let's now have a prayer for the fruit of the vine. Our Father, we're thankful for this opportunity that we can gather together and remember the gift and the shedding of your Son's blood for us at Calvary, how his body was pierced and nails were driven into his hands and his feet, thorn of, uh, thorn of crown, crown of thorns on his head, and the pain and suffering and agony that he went through. May we never forget that sacrifice of his body for us and that he's given us life, eternal life that is promised for all. Amen. Separate from the Lord's Supper, we have an opportunity to give back to the Lord as we have prospered. And Paul also mentioned, uh, talked about the uh, contributions in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 through 5. He tells about the importance of us giving to the Lord. We want you to know, brethren, about the grace of God that has been given among the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means of their own accord, blessing us earnestly for the favor of taking part in the relief of the saints, and this not as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and then by the will of God to us. Let's go back at this, uh, Mas these Macedonian Christians. It says they gave of their means as they've been prospered. And we know there's many uh, that are being uh, afflicted by the COVID-19 situation with loss of 
employment and other hardships and uh, it's uh, not a situation that is uh, that a person has means to give in some situations but those of us that have been able to continue to work we have a responsibility and a, a desire to do the best we can and to give of our means in this situation Paul also said they gave him themselves uh, we need to be make sure that not only do we, we give our, our uh, financial means but that we give of our time our efforts and even though uh, we're not able to do certain things now because of the, uh, the virus and the uh, situation there are still opportunities that we can serve the Lord by the giving of our time we give the Lord if we do like we can give to the Lord like the church did in Macedonia we can help the church grow reach out to the lost world help those that have been in Impacted by things like the virus and as well as the, the tornadoes that we had here in the Chattanooga and Cookville area earlier this spring. And by that, we'll be pleasing our Father. Let us pray. Dear Father, we're thankful for this opportunity that we can give if we have been blessed. We pray that you'll be of our leadership and as they take these gifts and use it to spread the borders of thy kingdom and help leave those that are suffering at this time. In your Son's name we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you.